Hi, you're watching Farming Discover YouTube channel. Now we are going to show a video on methods of paddy cultivation. Selection of seed. Seed selection plays an important role in paddy cultivation. The seeds selected for cultivation should be of uniform size, age and free of contaminants. They should also have good germination capacity. Separation of quality seed. To separate good seeds from bad, soak them in water, the unviable seeds will float on the surface of the water. These seeds can be easily removed and the seeds that sink can be used for cultivation. By this method, damaged seeds are easily removed. And then soak it in water for 12 hours. Later, remove the water and cover it with a moist gunny bag or sack for 8 hours again like morning to evening. The seed rate required for 1 hectare of land under irrigated condition is Short duration variety, 60 to 70 kg Medium duration variety, 40 to 60 kg Long duration variety, 30 to 60 kg Dry and rain-fed sowing, 85 to 100 kg Using cow dung solution Treating paddy seeds in a cow dung solution enhances their germination. Take half a kilogram of fresh cow dung in 2 liters of cow urine and dilute them with 5 liters of water. Next step is giving cow dung water to seeds. Keep seeds again to dry for 8 hours. The next day, seeds will start to germinate. Tillage Practices Primary Tillage or Plowing 
Plowing is the primary tillage operation, which is performed to cut, break and invert the soil partially or completely suitable for sowing seeds. Secondary tillage or harrowing. Harrowing is a secondary tillage operation that is done to a shallow depth for smoothening and pulverizing the soil as well as to cut the weeds and mix the materials with the soil. Puddling. Puddling is churning the soil with water. It is done in paddy fields with standing water of 5 to 10 cm depth after initial plowing. It breaks up the clods and churns the soil. Leveling. Land leveling is expected to bring permanent improvement in the value of the land. Leveling work is carried out to modify the existing contours of the land for an efficient agricultural production system. Methods of paddy cultivation. 1. Broadcasting method. In this method, seeds are sown broadcast by hand. This is practiced in those areas which are comparatively dry and less fertile. Also, it is the easiest method requiring minimum input. 2. Drilling method. In this drilling method, plowing of land and sowing of paddy seeds is done by two persons. This method is mostly confined to peninsular India. 3. Transplantation method. The transplantation method is done in areas of fertile soil, abundant rainfall. Then, seeds are sown in the nursery, and seedlings are prepared. After four to five weeks the seedlings are uprooted and planted in the field which has already been prepared for the purpose. The entire process is done by hand. Therefore, it is a very difficult method and requires heavy inputs. But at the same time, it gives some of the highest crop yields. 4. Japanese method. Japanese method includes the use of high-yielding seed varieties, sowing the seeds in a raised nursery bed, and transplanting the seedlings in rows to make weeding and fertilizing easy. Also, it involves the use of a heavy dose of fertilizer so that very high yields are obtained. Thank you for watching, like and share the video with your friends. And if not subscribed our channel, subscribe to Farming Discover.